Hey everybody, it's Chris Duncan here. Welcome to day four. Having all sorts of challenges with technology this week. I was supposed to be on Zoom, but um, Zoom wouldn't let me let me go there. So so I'm here, and I'm um, hoping enough people get to to see this and be live, or at least watch the the replay. So let me just uh, hit the the share button out. Uh, to as many people as possible. Let's get them here, because Zoom isn't working for me. It's interesting, but um, I'm not sure what it is, whether it's there's lots of people on or um, whatever. I don't know, but we're here and excited. So who's been enjoying uh, the first three days? Yeah, well, I'd assume since you're here, you're enjoying it. Uh, hey, Carol, good to see you here. That's exciting. Hey, Junie, nice to have you on as well. We've had a, we've had a great few days. Uh, uh, day one, uh, we really looked at what the superconscious is, um, the difference between uh, problem-solving reality, creating, where the wounding comes from, and, and how the personal development world really keeps us stuck. So who enjoyed day one? <laughs> yeah. Great, great. That's good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah, day one to me, just helping people to understand this new reality and that you're not trying to fix your current reality. You're moving into a new identity, then simply letting go, letting go, letting go. And learning how to let go and recode is very different to trying to fix or change yourself. So it's uh, it's a very exciting to share share that work with you so day one to me was fantastic i loved it went for like an hour and a half on day one that was pretty cool uh and then then we had uh day two so day two was great as well and i loved day two uh just as much as i love day one uh day two we did the unpacking uh conflict and understanding what structural conflict is like you see, so straight, Brad says, I wish it was a 10 day. Well, you just need to join our masterclass, brother. We have a masterclass. We do three sessions every four sessions every week. So you just need to come. You just need to come take the plunge, bro. But um, for this week, I'm doing five, which I think is pretty generous. So day two, uh, when you understand structural conflict, you understand, you know, cognitive dissonance and you understand how aspects of you can be against each other. Um, and the aspects can can create, uh, you know, uh, what I call oscillation. Uh, we move forward about, well, when I say I, um, I 100% learned this through a guy named Robert Fritz, and um, and so now I say it, but uh, he first said it. And, and talking about oscillation in a structure, and it's very, it's very cool to understand that, you know, if you're in the wrong structure, you can never get to where you want. You'll just you'll just oscillate, and you need to be in the right structure and advancing structure. So that was that was great to share with people the the different the different types of structures and and, and those things. I finished um, by asking you to to help me think of times where you felt charged. Oh, nice, nice. That's great. Someone says day three recode is amazing. My fear trigger has removed and feeling excited and hopeful. I love it. Um, cool. Tennis myth bust. <laughs> Maybe you can help me with my tennis game. <laughs> oh, that's great to have you here. So um, really exciting. Yesterday was a lot of fun. Uh, we did uh, we, we did the charged emotions, whereas I've got the family recode um, up for today, by the way. Um, but we did the uh, the charged emotions, which which I think is uh, yeah, I mean pretty pretty good pretty good one pretty good one to to understand that you can get over any of your charges and so look that's all led us to today that's all led us to today day four today we're going to do the family recode and look you've placed it a misguided importance on your family rules and i just want you to type that in you have a misguided importance on your family rules hmm. 
a misguided importance on your family rules. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is that, you know, you, you were given a family and you were born in a family. And that family structure had good aspects, neutral aspects, and negative aspects. And it's true for all of us. And you've gone and put a higher importance on the rules that were, were given to you through that family because when you were at a young age, you got all of your safety from that family. And, and my mentor in this named um, Bert Hallinger, okay, he says, in a family of thieves, in a family of thieves, the child who will not steal has a guilty conscience. In a family of thieves, the child who will not steal has a guilty conscience. And, and this is really interesting because the way that we create belonging, the way that we create safety, the way that we create security is when we're a young baby, we have to find a way to be, be a part of our family. OK, so in a family of thieves, the child who does not steal has a guilty conscience. What does that mean? It means that the, the, the person in the family that doesn't follow the family rules feels weird, feels guilty about it. And so sometimes when you're trying to be the successful one in your family, so in a family of broke people, the successful one feels guilty. And it's interesting to understand these, these aspects, but uh, Hellinger has studied this and he says there are seven generations, seven generations of family trauma and emotions passed down, seven generations. And uh, I love that. So I'm going to say there's at least seven generations because Hellinger has studied it with African tribes. And when I've worked with people, I see much more than seven generations of family rules and trauma, uh, yet I haven't studied it scientifically. So let's say at least seven. Let's say at least seven. And so there's these rules, and we're bound by these rules, and they're not all verbal. Some are energetic rules, okay? Uh, you know, Albert Einstein called it spooky action at a distance, and it's when two different cells, uh, hey, Jenny, are actually entangled. And the word entangled means that they're energetically they're connected via a field of information. Energetically entangled via a field of information. You couldn't be more entangled with your family. Okay? You look like your family. You act like your family. You have health conditions like your family. It doesn't matter if you go to the other side of the world. You still are going to look and act and be like your family. You are part of that energetic field. It's non-local. And so what's very interesting about this is that there are unspoken rules operating in every single family. Now, they've done scientific studies where they take a photon they slice the photon in half. They send it 16 miles apart. And then whatever they do to one uh, photon, the other one mimics it. So if they heat it up, if they change it, the other they mimic across huge distances. They, they've also done tests with DNA where they've taken a saliva test and left it in San Diego at a, at a um, I believe in San Diego, there's a naval base there. Uh, anyway, at, at some sort of military um, base there. And then they've taken the the soldier and they've had them go to the other side of the world and actually be fighting in combat. And what they noticed is, is as they changed the uh, emotional structure of the DNA, the person would feel different. As this person got anxious about, you know, maybe an upcoming battle or a war or whatever was going on, that would, the DNA would mimic it in real time. In fact, they even did a study, and this is wild, guys, where they they had the, the soldier uh, or who, the person, whoever it was, watch uh, funny movies and increase their vibration. 
And as they watch these, you know, hilarious comedies on the other side of the world, the DNA actually, when you're born, you're simply, there's a sperm and an egg come together and that has a lot of information, which turns into a cell, which turns into another cell, which turns into you. Yes. Like that's all very simple stuff. And we know that you never, you never escape that bond, that field. That's what you're created from. That's what you're created in. And there's lots of rules that are passed down. In fact, seven generations of trauma memories and uh, lots of things. So uh, it's very, it's very important, very important to understand. So, so we have these these rules, and my uh, my experience is that a lot of suffering. Um, can you guys all hear me again? Is it buffering? The uh, internet seems to be having challenges in these times, doesn't it? Yeah. It seems to be when we get over about 45 people on here, it starts buffering big time. Um, yeah, hit refresh. Zoom is, is not even working today at all. Um, who has me on Facebook? I'm going to get my, um, I'm going to get my Facebook up right now. Hey, Jennifer, if you have me on Facebook, I'm just going to go live on Facebook as well. I'm going to go live on the magnetic mind page. Let me just do that. Let me go live there, live video. And then, um, and then at least if you can't get me here, you can go over there. All right, cool. All right, so I'm going live um, on Facebook. So uh, Facebook stream is now live. Facebook stream, search magnetic mind method. And that's on a different um, Wi-Fi. So, I mean, sorry, that's not on my Wi-Fi. That's, um, Facebook is just sitting, sitting on, uh a different a different um survey okay guys so we're talking about family ecology and family rules and if you've just jumped in on facebook youtube was buggy so we've we've moved some of the people over here to facebook so you can watch the beginning on youtube if you like so look uh we're talking about family rules and we're talking about uh how we energetically uh are linked to family members especially those that created us uh, so, so those uh, above us in the family tree, we we sit in structures that are that are given to us from them, and they're very uh, super conscious and unconscious. And some examples of this is um, we want to stay in the same experience as them. And so, what I what I find is sometimes people can move countries or start a business or you know, do completely different things, but uh, their their experience of life is uh, is the same. So th this way, to me, even though I had chosen to be an entrepreneur, my experience of life was still not of someone who had freedom. And so we really connected through experience in life. And a lot of traumatic memories can get passed down. And today we're going to look at these and understand that, you know, you do have seven generations of coding and patterning uh, sitting there. And it's uh, it's very interesting, very interesting to unpack it, uncode it, because sometimes, look, it, um, it might not even be your coding. It might not even be your memory. It might be, you know, your grandfather on your dad's side who had to go to war. And so I'll tell you a few interesting things about me. Uh, you know, I'm my family moved to New Zealand nine generations ago on my mother's side and uh, eight generations ago on my father's side. And so that's, you know, it's a long time ago. And something that was really interesting to me is I always felt this sense of abandonment. And uh, I felt like I would I would always abandon other people or I'd find ways for people to abandon me. 
And, and, and when I looked at it and examined, well, why do I keep abandoning people? Why do I, you know, keep people at arm's length? Why do I have short, small relationships? And so, you know, I did, I did some work. And when I went into it, um, there was so much pain created from a past family member. And this past family member had to pack everything up, get on a boat from Scotland or Ireland or, or England and travel to New Zealand on the other side of the world and leave everyone behind. Does that make sense? And so they really, like, they had a huge pain of, of having love and then deciding to lose it and leave. Because when you left, you know, nine generations ago, you know, say 25 years, so 200, 200 years, right? 150 minimum years ago, there's a lot of pain there. So I would always have this really... Um, this really weird sense that uh, I needed to abandon or I was going to be abandoned or uh, can you guys type in a yes if you get that? Like it's really weird. And uh, when I looked at it and I went into it, I was able to, to shift it and clear it and, and be able to create close relationships. And so it had nothing to do with me or my lifetime. It was just this weird thing that kept happening. Another thing that was interesting for me is, is I looked at my life and I was trying to understand, you know, um, where this guilt of, of having too much came from. Like, why, why do I feel guilty about ha having success and, and making lots of money? And, uh, and, and again, I, I, did, I did work and what came through was my great grandfather, uh, he, uh, he, injured his leg when he was 20 years old and didn't have to go to to war the in the um the first world war look he didn't he didn't have to go to war yet all his friends went to war and then they were all killed and he had this extreme guilt that he didn't go right now it's it's obviously um because he's he stayed back with all the women and children and old people and, and he survived where all his other friends went to war now that's a, a very illogical thing to think right like oh i'm guilty but to him he didn't go and so he wasn't there and then all his friends died he felt lonely he felt like a loser he felt like you know and so anyway he, he, you know he started drinking and things like that and uh, it was really interesting because I saw patterns like that in my life. Like I'd feel guilty about having more than others. And uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's interesting when you unpack and you, you look at these things and go, well, why is it like that? So one of the things that, that we do it in Magnetic Mind is, is we, we look at our behavior as information. Why is it difficult for me to hold on to money? Why do I avoid that? Why do I do that? Why? And we go, why? And we, we don't want to then try to, um, you know, go into too much detail, but we just notice that if there's a behavior that we want to do, or maybe one of the aspects, and we do, um, we have 12 different uh, modalities that we use. You could call them. Would you call them modalities? Where are my coaches? Someone type in coach if you're in the certification. I can already see um, I've got a few on here. There's Marie. There's, uh, there's Kat. There's Dean. Yeah, there's Kate. Yeah, change processes. I'd probably call it that. Yeah, that's a better idea. I've got, I've got 13 change processes, Kate. Thanks. Um, Coach Kat. There's Bob. There he is. So we've got a lot of them. Got a lot of them. And uh, and anyway, so so one of them is is maybe it's family stuff. Um, hey, it's Gabriel just jumped on from Hannah's call. Hey, Heather, there's Heather. Got lots of you guys. How is Hannah's call? Was it amazing as usual? <laughs> nice nice anyway so uh let, let's talk about family stuff okay uh and and here's the first question okay the first question and if you're on facebook uh and you just jumped on you haven't been on any of the other sessions uh i would highly recommend that you you go and watch session number one uh, I, it's, uh, this is the day four. So if you're just jumping in on day four, uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult, um, uh, for you to do what we're about to do. So feel free to stay on and enjoy this, but also this is on YouTube. It's being recorded. It's also here on Facebook. So you can come back to this as well. Okay. You might want to go and do day one, but if you've been here since day one, uh, you, you're going to be in, in good shape. 
Okay, so the question number one is, what do you want to create but haven't? This is number one. What do you want to create but haven't? Um, could someone type that on the Facebook feed? Because I can't type on that one. I've typed here on um, on YouTube. What do you want to create but haven't? So either type in a number one when you've written it down or type the answer in. What do you want to create but haven't? What is something you would like to create but haven't yet? Either type in a number one if you've done it or, uh, or type in the answer. Cool. What do you want to create but haven't? Good morning, good morning. So question number two is what, what is the problem? What is the problem? Um, you might want to create a new behavior, yeah, but normally the new behavior leads to something, um, Jeremy. So the second question is, what is the problem? So question number one was, what do you want to create but haven't? Question number two is, what is the problem? And look, we have these beautiful unpacking questions, and we have a whole heap of these when you work with us or if you get certified. And what these questions do is bring awareness for the superconscious to do the recode. Nice. Where's the tennis retreat center going to be? Love it. Okay, so number one, and then so type in number two if you've done number two. Number two is what is the problem? What is the problem? Hey, Jewel, I see you on Facebook. This is live on YouTube as well, so um, the full recording's there, so don't worry about it. We had tech problems. So what is the problem? Type in number two if you've got it. So what do you want to create but haven't? What is the problem? So, so I'll share with you, okay, what I want to create. I want a 1,000 certified coaches. What's the problem? Um, I need to be able to reach more of them. That's the problem. I need to reach more of them. That's the problem. I haven't reached enough of them. I've got 200 people, 210 people getting certified right now. So the third question, the third question is, what do you think about the problem? What do you think about this problem? See, so Tenna, Tenna Smith Bust. What, what is your name, by the way, Tenna Smith Bust? <laughs> Who are you? Um, it, they say the problem is I need to attract high-profile tennis players, okay? And, that, okay, cool, that's the problem. So what do you think about that? And I can already guess that they think that that's going to be difficult or hard, okay? So I think that it's difficult. Oh, cool. Cool, Jonathan, thanks. So, you know, what do you think about that as a problem? Well, I think it's going to be hard. I think it's going to be this. So what do I think of that problem? So what I want to create but haven't is a 1,000 certified coaches. The problem is I, I'm not reaching enough. And so what do I think about that problem? I think I need to reach more. I think I need to um, be better at marketing. I think I need to – I think that the coronavirus is really frustrating. I think that um, – I, what do I think about it? What do I think? I think that I need to communicate it better. Um, I need to, what do I think? Uh, I need more case studies of really successful students of mine. What do I think? I think, and so you can unpack it, okay? So what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. 
Cool. So d d write down a number three if you've done three, just for my timing as we unpack this. Okay. Number four is how do you feel about the problem? How do you feel about the problem? How do you feel about the problem? So how do I feel? I feel, how do you feel about your problem? Here's how I feel about my problem. I feel inspired, <laughs> feel motivated. I feel impatient. I feel um, sometimes not good enough. I feel, I feel, I sometimes feel doubt. I feel, I feel sometimes feel critical of myself. How do I feel? I feel, I feel in love with all of them. How do I feel? I feel, I feel fucking grateful. I feel grateful. Yeah. And so you, you ask yourself, how do I feel? Okay, good. Thanks, Steph. Yeah, I feel frustrated. Cool. How do you feel about it? You ask yourself, how do I feel? Sometimes I feel, uh, you know, maybe I, I don't, I don't know enough. Yeah, and and it's okay. I'm, uh, the reason why I'm giving you my example is is it's okay to have those feelings. It's part of it's part of who you are. It's no it's no big deal. So uh, how do you feel? Give me a number. Give me a number four if you've done number four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so number five is because of this. So number five is because of this. How do you define yourself? Thanks, Dom. Oh, you moved. You moved from YouTube to Facebook. How do you define yourself? How do you define yourself? Yeah, nice, Gabriel. Nice. Same. So give me a number five when you, how do you define yourself? So how do I define myself? I define myself as a new kid on the block. I define myself as, um, I define myself as successful. I define myself as a great teacher. I define myself as, I define myself as an action taker. Well, how else do I define myself? I define myself as, the world's best kept secret and more people need to know about this amazing method. How do I define myself? I define myself. I define myself as in my greatness. I think I define myself well in my one. How do you define yourself? I define myself as I define that there's myself as someone that's got lots to do. Yeah. Yeah. I define myself as a conscious capitalist. How do I define myself? Hmm. How do you define yourself? Yeah, so just I know um, uh, it's easy to answer a different question, but 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 Brad, let's just answer the question. Let you know how do you define yourself in this? You know, cool. That was question number five. How do you define yourself here? Okay, so now we get to start getting into uh, the family stuff. So I want you to think of an early childhood age that relates to this, okay? So think of an early uh, childhood age that relates to all of this, okay? So, um, you know, mine is... 
uh, number one. So I'm just going to help you. So mine is, what do I want to create but haven't? A thousand certified coaches. What is the problem? Well, I don't have them. I don't reach enough people. I need to reach more people. What do I think about the problem? I need to communicate better. I need to... Uh, I need to reach more people. It's frustrating. And then how do I feel? It's frustrating. I feel uh, impatient. I also feel inspired and motivated. I feel, you know, there's good stuff. And then how do I define myself? Well, I define myself as, you know, the world's best kept secret. I define myself as a great teacher. I define myself as an inspiration. I define myself as someone that has done a lot of work. I design, define myself as successful. I define myself as a multimillionaire. I define myself as a uh, as a speaker, as a coach. As, so, so how do you define yourself? And then you want to ask yourself the next question. Question six is think of an early age that relates to this. Okay. And what are you experiencing? So think of an early age that relates to all this and what are you experiencing? And so, so for me, you know, I can I can remember early. I can think about that, and uh, and I know that I, I've always wanted to do something big and and share with the world and and help and teach. And when I feel into it, it feels like something around about the age, age of three for me. And and I just get it a sense. Now, a lot of you won't be able to get a sense of the age, but I just want you to to just you don't have to write anything for this. I just want you to think about. You know, what am I experiencing back then? You know, what's what's going on? And, and just then just be in this for a second, you know, as a child in relationship to all of these things, you know, what was going on? What are you experiencing? And just and just be there for a second. What am I experiencing as a child? What am I experiencing? How does what I'm experiencing relate with dad? How does what I'm experiencing relate to mom? Hmm. How, how do my goals in life connect me to them? And, and for a lot of us, dependent on how healthy our family is, we are going to create goals and create experiences in life to keep us connected with our family. So here's, here's some statements. Dad, I will feel a heavy burden so yours will be lighter. So you can notice, you know, Dad, I'll feel frustration like you or I'll stay small so I'm like you. Or the opposite is, Dad, I'm going to be so free to show you what you should do. But can you see how in both those instances we're still connected by a rule structure that is trying to solve something for Dad? You see, I'm going to be free to help you or I'm going to stay burdened to help you. Either way, the power is not with you. So just notice as a child what you're experiencing. Here's another another way. And by the way, that could be mum. I'm going to feel a heavy burden. I just used dad, that one. Um, how about this one? Dad, um, I will be your victim so you won't have the pain of, pe of being other people's victim. So I'll be a victim in life so that uh, you know, I'll be your victim so that you can in one area of life have control. Uh, you know, Dad, I'll be a perpetrator like you so that you'll feel less guilty. Or I'll be broke like you so you don't feel bad. I won't go too big like you. And I just want you to experience 
some of these these things, you know. Mom, I will be a better victim of you. So better victim than you. So they will choose me. Mom, I will be quiet like you. So that you don't feel bad about, about being quiet and being small. Or mom, I'll be big to show you what's possible for you. And so I just want you to just, just feel into some of these things and, and really get, okay, great. So I'm having this experience now. How is this connected? What's going on here? All we're doing here is, is allowing you to, to seed your superconscious. So it's really interesting. The family rules is this, is no one in the family is allowed to have a better experience of life than those that come before. And what's really interesting about this is that's actually not what they want, right? Yeah, Brad says, it feels like I should feel like this. This is the right way to feel. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get back to the, the first thing you wrote, you know, what would you like to create but haven't? And I just want to ask out of 10, how much resistance do you feel there is to having that? 10 out of 10 resistance is like you're swimming upstream, like it's really difficult to have that. And zero out of 10 is it's easy to have that. And we're going to do a quick recode, okay? Now, if you're watching this on Facebook and you've never done a recode before, you need to go and do an intro session. Uh, go to YouTube. The first day I do an intro session and you'll be able to have this session work for you. Uh, those of you on YouTube, I'm assuming you've already done a session uh, with me. Cool. Cool. Jeremy, 10, Steph, 4, Brad, 8, um, Kat, 5, Bob, 9, 6. Cool. Heather, 10, awesome. Okay, so if you choose to, um, if you choose to, to recode this, uh, hey, Gazelle, uh, Gazelle, and if you choose to recode this, then, um, then just go ahead and close your eyes. Um, I'm going to tune into your superconscious. So what you must do is you must close your eyes and you must give me permission to connect to your superconscious. You guys know how this works if you've done it before. Um, if you haven't done it before, uh, uh, you know, you can watch or you can go get an intro session and understand how this works. Um, so so if, you, if you've done a session before, um, this one will be good for you to do. So close your eyes. Uh, close your eyes and just give me permission to connect. And just do that by saying, I give Chris Duncan permission to connect to my super conscious. If, if um, YouTube is buffering, uh, I don't actually need YouTube to do that. Well, I can feel all the permission coming in, keeping your eyes closed. If YouTube buffers or stops, just keep your eyes closed until you feel like it's done. Uh, I don't actually, YouTube isn't needed. It's just, yeah, you don't even need to hear my voice. Okay, so just if it does drop out, just just stay in it till you feel like it's done uh, and then come back and put a comment on the video. But I, I should, you should, it should stay fine. Okay, so super conscious, can you connect to everyone's super conscious here on the live call plus everyone watching the replay through time and space? Hmm. Okay, please give permission for me to connect to your super conscious. Do all identities want treatment today? Yeah. Okay, so I want you just to grow younger. Just grow yourself younger, grow younger, grow younger. Superconscious, please grow yourself younger all the way back to the first year in life. 
all the way back. That's it, all the way back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 years old. That's it. Now we're going to go back in months 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 month old. Super conscious, are you there? One month old. Yes. Great. Now we're going to go back in weeks. Four, three, two, one week old, and down in days, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to join back with our mother. That's it. That's it. Join back with our mother. There we go. We're now connected. Great. And as a fetus, super conscious, grow yourself younger again. Nine, eight, seven, six months inside the womb four three two one that's it right back super conscious are you there i want you to go right back until you're just as super conscious before you become human are you there yes okay great super conscious can you hear me yeah i'm going to talk to your super conscious like it's a person you're about to inherit some trauma, some memories, learnings, identities, looks, health conditions, and many other aspects as you become a human. Do you remember the football field metaphor? Yeah. Do you remember that from session number one? Yes. Do you understand how treatment works? Yes. So just like different siblings have different looks and different attitudes, super conscious, do you understand this? Okay, great. Great. Okay, there's a little bit of fear popping up from a few people, a few of you here. So super conscious, do you see the fear of change? Yes. Can you please let all identities know they won't die? They won't die. We're just going to release the emotion that's causing resistance. We want to have more information. So please tell all of the identities they won't die we're just wanting to have less emotion that is causing resistance to satisfaction in life. Do all the identities want to have the most satisfaction? Great. More, most satisfaction, less pain. Okay, cool. So, great. Great. So, super conscious from this perspective, can you see feel, hear, and know all the beliefs, emotions, and memories that are causing resistance in the current active experience? Yes. Are you aware of them? Yes. Okay, we're going to move forward. And as you move forward, super conscious, I want you to tag, treat, and do a massive change history in alignment with the new choice. Can you do that? Yes. Okay. So we're going to go down and become the fetus in the first month. Please tag and treat all memories, physiological memories, all thoughts and passed down memories causing resistance in the current experience. Great. Month two. Month three. Super conscious, what you're going to do is you're going to erase any emotions, but keep the learnings. It's it's like turning a movie from color to black and white. Do you understand what you're doing? Great. Please go through all the months up until birth. 
please treat to a massive change history and everything. Thank you. Now through being born, super conscious, do you see the individuation process, everything going on? Yes, please treat a massive change history. And now moving forward, we're going to replace all the memories that we touch with courage and trust and self-love. So super conscious, now you're going to erase the color and then recreate it with a new feeling. The events will stay the same. You'll just feel different about them. For example, super conscious, if you've ever had a breakup, sometimes you can feel good about it or you can feel upset, except it doesn't change what's actually happening. Superconscious, do you understand that you can change your emotion but keep the facts the same and keep all the understanding? Great. Please go through the first year to a full change history and replace with those three emotions, courage, trust, self-love. Please do year number two. Massive change history on everything in year number one and year number two and reinforce with those three memories. Now go to year number three, four, five, six, and seven. And just breathe through that. There's a lot of processing happening, so just notice what's happening for you. It all feels good and safe. There's some muscle memory that needs to be released, super conscious. Can you please treat the body and do a super conscious recode on any muscle memory? DNA structures, cells, chakras. Whew. I want you to know there's some people that are watching this on the replay and time doesn't exist. I'm there with you right now. And you just need to breathe through your chest. Breathe through your heart. Some are still processing between zero and seven, but some need to move forward. So we're gonna move forward to year eight, nine, and 10. Super conscious, please tag and treat, just as you have been doing. Do you understand how to do treatment? Yeah. Cool, and we're just going to move from there all the way out to today. Noticing that most of the processing happened in early age and it meant as you moved out, things became easier.
superconscious continue to tag and treat at every age from then all the way out to now. And allow the conscious brain to just rest for a second and superconscious. Please reinforce with trust, courage, and self love. All right. I see some messages came in while I had my eyes closed. As I said in the beginning, this is an advanced process and you need to go back to day one if you haven't done a session before. So when you're ready, please open your eyes and uh, come back to now. And when you're back, say hi. When you're back, well, not say it, I won't hear you then. Type in hi if you're back. Hey, Steph. Great, here they all are. Good to have you all back. Hey, Dom. Hey, guys. So um, let me know how that went got shivers down your spine so when you think about that that answer to number one that was a good one when you when you think about your answer to number one how much resistance do you feel out of 10 now that was good hi omg hi feel lighter that was liberating Shivers down my spine. Great. A zero. Felt my mother's emotions of being scared. Nice, Steph. Five to ten to five. Nice. Joel, zero. Cat, five to two. Eight to zero. 10 to 3, 4 to 0. Cool. 7 to 1. Hey, guys, there's a lot of people that haven't typed in their new resistance level, so let me know. 10 to 4, fail to release, 4 to 0. Nice, felt a blast of connection to start, started crying. Cool, there's lots of comments coming in here on uh, on YouTube, two, a three, beautiful. So, so the, a lot shifts. And if this is your first, you know, intro to uh, the super conscious work, four to zero, open heart, 10 to five, it's a, a true revolution in, in a treatment of, um, of anything that's in the way. I have trouble with the rating system. Yeah, don't overthink the rating system. It's just feel into your heart, like how much, like you needed, did you put the resistance down first? If you, you got to put it down before because the rating system is only your own, all right? So it's uh, um, took me to age 10, the 83 stock market crash. Wow. So the the feeling so free, yes, yeah, so the rating system isn't for me. There's no, it's not accurate. Uh, it's just where were you before and then how do you feel about it now? The reason why we do the rating system is so that you can actually, your conscious brain can can, can see a difference. Um, and, and if you don't uh, if you do not do the rating system, um, Kira, yeah, just go to YouTube um, and just and just search for um, search for me. Uh, search my channel. The channel is called Total um, Freedom TV. Um, you should be able to find it. Yeah. Search my name. Yeah. And then there'll be a day one. Right on, Angela. Cool. 
Well, the resistance that we cleared today was only family resistance, right? So people, are, if you've still got a bit more, um, if you've still got resistance there, it's because we only covered one thing. Uh, there's lots of things that can cause resistance. So, guys, I hope that that was a good session for for day number four. Was it a was it a good session? Give me a yes or a thumbs up if it was. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, the reason why I'm here doing this work this week for free is I want to I want to stand as a leader in this time of uh, anxiety and crisis. Uh, I want us to be in our end results, our emotions that are going to create our future instead of the emotions that are going to keep us stuck in the past. So I'm here to say nothing external can impact your internal. You do not need to let it in. You can be a complete rock solid ship that doesn't let anything in. You can. We have the tools here for you. It's the first time these tools have been here on the planet. And this week I'm here working with you guys for free, which is a huge gift because our inner circle clients, they pay for this level of service. And I'm here doing it for this week only for free for you guys. So please use this. Please take it up. Please understand these principles. Learn how to connect to your super conscious. And this is what I want to say. For too long, we've had to go to modalities that make us rely on something else. You've made up, you've they've had to rely on an external thing. It's time for us to be able to connect to our own super conscious, connect to our own super conscious and learn how to shift anything. Not relying on pills, not relying on therapists, not relying on alcohol or drugs or food or people or events or success, not relying on other things. We need to realize that we have a humongous, humongous gift. And this gift is we have a super conscious aspect of us that is creating everything. It creates all health, creates sickness. Even sickness is created on some level. Everything is there. We don't need to keep relying outside of ourselves. We are a freaking walking miracle. We are a complete walking miracle, yet most of us have had to rely on some book that someone else has written, or we've had to rely on something out here. And what we do with this work is we want to bring it to you and say, you are the God of your being. You, you have a super conscious aspect. You can shift and change everything inside of you. When I'm doing this work, it's not me doing it. I've asked permission to connect to an aspect of you. And then I ask that aspect to do the work. I'm not doing it. That's why right now on YouTube, there's 82 people here. That's why on Facebook, there's, there's 12 watching live. And then there's all of these people that will watch the replay because I'm not doing the work. I'm not tired. I'm not exhausted. I didn't run energy. I'm teaching an aspect of you to do it. Does that make sense? You learn this. You don't need Chris Duncan. You don't need to clone me. Jennifer says we need to clone you. No, you just need to learn this. You connect to your own super conscious. You go through the own structures. You just do the structures. You do it yourself. This is teaching you a new way of being. You should need to teach this to your kids. And this is coming straight out of super conscious creator workshop. It's not the stuff I'm teaching you. You know, this is a this is a, a fifteen thousand dollar program. You know, this is this is very important stuff. And once you've got it, you have all the technology that you need. You have all the technology that you need. You don't need to go outside of yourself consistently. And you can pass this technology on to others so that they can go into their own super conscious. The super conscious revolution is here, guys. You are a complete, amazing, powerful, powerful, powerful creator. You are. And together, yeah, you, you, we can connect to everyone's super conscious. That's what we teach. You know, it's not, it's not about needing someone else. You learn how to do it. You learn how to do it. It is best for your first 
year or year and a half to have a coach helping you to really make sure it ships fast. That's why we have the certification. And then once you work with someone for a while, you've got it. You can work with other people's super conscious, your own super conscious. Uh, and it's very, very, very good. So I'm going to say I love you so much. Thanks for being here and being part of this revolution. It is huge, 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 huge. We have um, some amazing things coming up, including a full two-day virtual event coming up this weekend. And um, we are going to be emailing out some very reduced tickets if you want to attend the whole two-day virtual event. is going to be amazing. And I've still got one more day up my sleeve tomorrow. We're going to do a process called the double bubble. And uh, for those of you who have done the double bubble, you know what everyone's in store for. So, um, so that's just perfect, isn't it? So tomorrow is going to be great. It's 11.11, which is the time for me to finish. Uh, so good. Love you guys. Be magnetic. Be super conscious. And I will see you tomorrow. If you just caught a little bit of this on Facebook, come join us on YouTube. Um, that's where I'll definitely be. And uh, if you missed it, then watch the replay um, or the other days. It's all sitting there on YouTube and it's free for this week only. So get out there and, uh, you know, take, take action. Bye, guys. I love you all so much. See you tomorrow.